Okay, welcome back to this product demo for the Ultra Cocaine DCO 101 urine test strip. This test strip has now been um, dipped into a negative control solution for approximately 5 to 10 seconds. And what you can see now running on the central portion of this test is the pinkish dye running between these two areas in the center of the uh, test strip. The handle end is labelled with the COC cocaine abbreviation, clearly. What you have on the dip end is a maximum dip line, clearly uh, marked with a flat line, and the wavy lines indicate where the urine has been added. And what you can see now developing in the central results section of this dip strip is the control line, which is the nice dark line forming nearest the handle end, to indicate that sufficient urine has been added to wet the control line area and the whole test has run perfectly well and forming nearest the dipped end is the uh, test line. Now this will need a little longer to develop fully but experienced testers would at this stage clearly identify this as a negative uh, dip test and move on to the subsequent test but what we're going to do while we're talking to you about the ultra sensitivity of this membrane is just leave this video running so you can see the development of those two lines. Now the ultra test membrane screens down to 150 nanograms for cocaine detection and benzoylguanine which is the first line metabolite of cocaine. So this offers a test which is basically twice as sensitive as the standard NIDA and SAMHSA cutoff membranes which are historically tested at 300 nanograms. So this test will detect for a longer period of time uh, where cocaine is being excreted for, from the urine. So if somebody has breached the 300 nanogram level in the urine sample, a traditional test would screen negative. If they were still over 150 nanogram concentration in that uh, solution, we'd expect this to still give a positive indication of cocaine being excreted. Once the level drops below 150, this test goes to negative. Okay, so it doesn't mean that all the cocaine has been washed out of the system. It simply indicates cocaine being excreted at a much lower level than the traditional tests. So this will give users the ability to screen down below what most workplace and other tests, healthcare tests, are screening at. And if they're getting a clear negative on this test result, they can be confident that on a higher concentration test cutoff, they will definitely screen negative unless they have further cocaine exposure. In terms of the window period for uh, detection of cocaine after it's been used, again you will still see us quoting the wide ranging detection window from three up to a maximum of five days. We are not confident yet to be able to extend the window for detection beyond the five day period because the studies in terms of uh, detection times simply haven't been completed for these new membranes yet. This is a brand new introduction into the UK market. We're producing this video for you in January 2017. This, this really has just been produced and come onto the UK markets for the first time as a CE marked in vitro diagnostic test for, for detection of cocaine. So as those data sets become available, we will hopefully be able to confidently extend the window that these tests can claim to detect cocaine for beyond that five day barrier, but at this time we're, we're not confident enough to make those test uh, claims for it. If we just go back to emphasizing the, the interpretation of the result now, you can see uh, this test has been running for just under four minutes now. Control line is beautiful, dark, easy to interpret. Test line, beautiful, dark test line there. The background hasn't completely cleared, but if we left this running for the full five to 10 minutes, you would have a nice clear white background and two really nice discernible lines. But any test line forming in the presence of a control line, even if it's very thin, very faint or partial, we would still advise interpretation as a negative result, okay? You should leave these for the full development time when no test line is forming, because any test line that forms within that period of development time, as quoted in the manufacturer's data sheet and instructions that are sent out with these, should be interpreted as a negative result. So a positive result would be a clear control line and no test line discernible at the max read time. So there you have it, that's the Ultra Cocaine Test Strip available from UK Drug Testing. These are available in packs of one, 
five and the full pro cartons of 50 test strips from the UK drug testing website.